Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry if I'm kind of like off to the side, but if I go into the camera any further, I knock over Kiara. So um, we're just gonna pretend I'm not. Yes, my Christmas tree is still up and I think it's cute. So I might actually just leave it up all year round because it's their tree and it looks cute for now. So anyway, I just got home from work. I had a very, very long day, but I have a doll to unbox and this is as of the time I'm opening this, she has become my holy grail doll. This is a doll that has been on my list for so long. And back when I got into dolls, she was very difficult to get in good condition for a decent price. This is a doll I've been literally hunting for years. It reminded me of my experience with Ainsley, my 15. I'm not going to grab her because if I do, she'll knock over Roxy. But she's behind me. But it reminded me of my searches for Ainsley and then my one for Cecile. But this one I really thought, I was like... If I can get, of course the dog is drinking, if I can get those two for, I paid under 200 for Cecile and I paid under 100 for number 15 and they were both like perfect. 15 was more perfect than Cecile. But anyway, again, I am living, breathing proof that if you wait, God will send you the right doll in the right condition for the price you want to pay. So I'm pretty sure I put it in the title, but it is number 40 and I... <laughs> I cannot believe I'm saying this. This was my big birthday present to myself because my birthday, I'm filming this on Thursday. My birthday is on Sunday, the 22nd. So this was my birthday present to myself. I am so excited. I found her on Mercari. My next two Grail dolls that I'm hunting for are, are you ready for it? Number four and number 11. If I can remember and be a fancy editor, I'll put them up on the screen. But number four and number 11. This box was left out in the rain. This happens every time a doll gets delivered to my house pretty much. I have three separate doors baby scissors. I have three separate doors they can put them at and I don't know why. They always put them at the door. Not even my front door. My front door has a little like awning thing over it so they won't get wet. Oh no, they put them at the back door where there's nothing to cover them. So hopefully number 40 is okay. Here she is. Isn't she gorgeous? Anyway, I'm excited. Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. So part of the big reason I want this doll is because Koa, Lin Life has her and she has Lily. So I love that doll so much. I, I lived vicariously through Koa owning her for a very long time. So I she was the very first person I texted her immediately when I got this doll. And I did end up buying 30 like a year and a half ago and kind of in honor of Koa's doll, Lily, number 40, I named my number 30 Lilith. So I don't know what, I don't know what this one's name is gonna be. Probably should be something flower themed, but I don't really, I don't really have anything flower themed. Be her and I'm like, is this real life right now? Oh my God, what is happening, my friends? Oh my God, I thought she had perma panties. I was like scared for 30 seconds. What? Limb check. She's good. Here she is. Oh my god. Olivia is over here looking at her like, what do you have, mom? Do you want to come say hi? No. More interested in the box, of course. Oh my god. So she is Jess Mold, of course. Oh my god, her hair. So I love wigs like this. Remy. Um, my 79 has the closest thing I can probably think of to this. So I absolutely love this wig. I was hoping 62s would be like this, but it's not, it's, it's a little bit different. So Navy doesn't, her wig isn't quite like this and 30s is way more layered. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to brush her hair and I'm probably going to put her in an outfit and then we're going to, um, we're going to really induct her into the collection. All right, so change of plans, change of clothes. I'm in the pajamas now because I went ahead and I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to give her a little spa day. I can't find the micro mesh right now and it's late and I don't really feel like looking for it, but I'll find it eventually. It's fine. She just, for right now, she's got a little mark on her nose that I can see. I haven't really fully examined her body yet. Oh my god, that sounds weird to anyone who is not a doll collector. But anyway, I'm going to actually show you guys. This is not going to be like a huge dramatic transformation video, but it's been a very long time since we've done an American Girl one. There is no right or wrong reason to my methods, okay? This is what I have picked up from watching other collectors do this over the years. Please, if you are under 18, 
get a parent's permission before you do any of this. I am very, very quick at this. I have watched probably over a hundred American girls, not only including secondhand ones from my collection, but also my sisters, cousins, you know, several people in my family have had me wash their dolls and fix them up. So American girl wise, I have done a ton. So first off, what you're going to need is a doll and you're going to need a small little bowl. Um, shampoo or dish soap. I personally prefer to use Dawn because of the fact that it it cleans them more. Shampoo is great. I do have shampoo I use on them sometimes, but especially if they're secondhand, I use Dawn dish soap. Any type of conditioner and then some styling aid as well. Anyway, you're also going to need, which I forgot to grab, I apologize. I am exhausted. So this doll isn't dirty, but I always get the toothbrush because what you're gonna do is you're going to put a little bit of dish soap or some people use baking soda if the doll is really, really dirty. You're just gonna put a dab of dish soap in the bowl and then you're going to turn on the water. I really use just cool tempered water and then it will like bubble up like that and then you're going to scrub her vigorously. All right, this is weird. You guys are like in my sink, but instead of a voiceover, I think for right now, I'm gonna talk you through this part. So you're always gonna wanna be careful not getting it in their eyes. But um, I, like I said, I have done this so many times. I can do it quite fast and well, just depending on how dirty the doll is. This one, she even smells nice. So I am not worried at all. I start with the legs. You really wanna get areas like the crevices. So like their toes, their fingers especially, and then I find their mouths can also um, collect a lot of dirt. So if you get the cloth wet, do not worry about it. It will dry out. If you get it ridiculously wet, you can unstuff them and then let it dry out because it's literally just stuffing and fabric. So it's nothing nothing to worry about. Now, obviously, if you get the cloth wet and you just like let it sit for days and days and you don't do anything about it, then it's gonna get like really gross. Now, we're gonna go ahead and this is so weird. You guys are literally in my second sink. I've never filmed this close up before, but we're gonna give it a go. So I do like to put towels over them. The smaller ones are typically easier. So again, I just use cool um, temperature water, nothing too hot, nothing too cold. I get the entire head wet. She's going to be quite easy because of the fact that her hair is short. So this is not a Kanani Akina experience and I have restored two Kanani Akinas in my life. One I customized into Chloe and the other is my Kanani. So you're gonna wanna get everything super nice and wet. So this is where you will either do your shampoo or your Dawn dish soap. Dish soap, excuse me. Careful with the hairnet especially, just in case it is like a super, super old doll and she happens to, you know, the glue isn't super strong, I guess, intense, I don't know then you're going to want to go ahead and get it out and you want to make sure you get everything out. If you didn't know, American Girls have Kinecolon hair, which is a fiber of hair that is also used on wigs for humans, medical grade wigs. How do I know this? It's my job. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with what my family business is, but I do work with wigs on a daily and weekly basis. So I've been around them my entire life. And when I found out American Girls had Kinecolon, I was like, oh, this is a breeze. So just wanna make sure. And her hair, even though I haven't even put conditioner in it, it's already starting to feel better. And she does have some little split ends. Like this one is completely coming out. So we got some hair. I'm used to excessive rainbow high shedding now. So I'm, this like one or two little strands is absolutely nothing for me. Okay. So now it's time for conditioner. I sometimes give my American girls a double wash and I might just give her a double conditioning. I'm not quite sure yet. 
I forgot a brush and it just really depends on who you are as a collector. I prefer to run my hands through their hair because for me, obviously, if you think about it, with my vision, feel is very important to me. So I can't really see if, you know, the hair is getting, I don't want to say softer because that's really a feel, but just feeling is very, very important to me and that's just how I prefer to do it. So you can leave the conditioner set. I've even boil wash with conditioner in the hair. Olivia is like doing weird cat meow things over in my living room, I'm concerned. I'm gonna give her a second condition. I have literally the oldest thing I own, not really, my childhood American Girl brush. And then I also have their wet brush. Yes, they have one. And I do have metal brushes as well. But I'm going to be completely honest with all of you. I prefer the wet brush over any other type of brush for my own personal hair and for doll hair. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray this. What John Amico stuff do I have here? I have the Biomin oil. Okay, so this is like a leave-in conditioner that I just put a couple sprays in. That was probably too much, but it's all right. She might actually be okay with just doing the... Um, wet brush she should be all right i'm sorry if you guys can't really see this okay so her flip her flip looks to be kind of gone oh god what have i done i'm scared okay so i am going to hmm her ends are still i don't know if you guys can tell it's actually kind of noticeable her ends are kind of still very crispy i guess you could say um they're not fried or anything they're frizzy it's friction frizz so hmm i'm thinking of what i want to do here all right i'm gonna put her in a boil wash and it's not gonna be for very long though i'm gonna stick her in and i'm gonna take her out and i'm gonna pray to god <laughs> that um she does not lose her flip but I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, you can probably hear the microwave, but for a boil wash, this is very, very difficult. I have burnt myself many, many times doing this. Um, or I've actually burnt myself more doing eye swaps because that you have to heat up the head and then you have to like literally um, <laughs> squeeze the head, and like squeeze the inside of the head. You guys know, if you're customizers, you know. But um, yeah, boil washes, you need to take extreme precautions because you're putting the, sorry, I'm just trying to dry everything off. You're pouring this on the doll. You don't want to get it in her eyes. You do not want to get it on yourself and you want to be extremely cautious. So you put it in the microwave for four minutes, um, four or five minutes, depending on like how, what you're doing. Anyway, um, that's what you do. And I have my bowl here. I use a smaller one usually, but for her, since I'm just putting her in, her hair is super short, I'm just putting her in and I'm taking her out. These, you do not want to let them sit in here because with Rainbow Highs, I kind of find it's not really a big deal because their hair, I've never had where their hair comes out of their plugs. Um, OMG either, but, or brats rather. Um, I've never boil washed a Monster High at all, but um, you do not want that, um, the Hey, ladies, can we not do that? My cats are being weird. You do not want the glue on their caps to come undone. That's what I was trying to say. Remember, it's super late, okay? So I'm doing my best. All right, I'm gonna cut back when it is the boil wash time. Okay, so we have our smoking hot water here, and hopefully you guys can see this, but I'm gonna dunk her in, mainly her ends, really fast, and then I'm gonna take her out as quick as I can because the main goal here is to not lose the flip so i'm gonna see this is hard because it's kind of a bigger bowl but i'm gonna i'm gonna try and brush the water through her hair too this has worked especially for the um the back because her hair is kind of layered and when you brush hair you guys probably know this from your own hair but you always want to start from the bottom All right, so then what I do, I go ahead and I rinse her with cold water. 
that definitely helps. Okay, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna leave her on my kitchen counter to dry overnight. It looks like we got really lucky and the flip will be staying in. So praise the Lord for that. Hopefully when I wake up in the morning, it will still be there. And then in the next clip, you guys will see her dressed and how she officially turned out. So see you in the morning. It is the next day. And yes, we're on top of the doll storage and Opal has been living here next to Olivia's portrait for a little while. Uh, but anyway, this is a package from an Etsy shop I've never ordered from before. Here is just one item. It was on sale and I thought it was really cute. And I think it's actually really perfect to put number 40 in. So that's why I'm kind of including it in this little video because it's not, it's just one item. There's no reason to do like an Etsy haul. So I have it opening upside down because I don't want the addresses to be shown. Okay, this is so cute. Oh wait, hold on. All right, so here is the business card. Super, super cute. And then on the back, it says, Kyla, thank you for your order. I hope you love it. I am a big fan of your YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. Well, I hope you are watching this video. This is so cute. This is exactly how I wrap stuff up at, up at work with the little sticker and everything. So, oh my God, I hate when people send cute packaging because I feel bad because I have to open it. Oh my gosh, okay, this is exciting. I'm very, very excited. This is adorable. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, so it is this like plaid little jumper. It kind of looks very Christmassy, very fall-ish as well. So I am really, really hoping that this is going to look adorable on 40 and I'm sure it probably will, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put together the outfit and put her in the outfit and then I will show you the finished product. Our new friend in her new dress and I paired it with this undershirt and then these really old boots from Etsy that are falling apart. But I think she looks very cute. I am so, so happy to have her. I can't believe this is real. To be completely honest with all of you, I cannot believe this is real. This is absolutely crazy. I love her so, so much. Please leave your first, last, and middle name suggestions down below because I'm kind of stumped with her. I think I have a name for my Kavi, but I don't entirely know yet. So now I am back to having two dolls to figure out names for, but leave your name suggestions for this one down below. Again, the dress is from Nellie's Creations over on Etsy. I absolutely love it and recommend that Etsy shop. If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam and tap that really cool notification bell to know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everybody.